Hey guys, this is our study and welcome to Comic Space and we finally have ourselves an official teaser trailer for Deadpool and Wolverine and I'm quite aware that I'm running a little bit on that topic but I just have to come and talk about it there's just so much to talk about it why in the right mind TV actually ask Wade for help and the Wolverine that we are seeing in the white tuxedo is actually not you Jackman and what the fuck is actually going on in the trailer so we have a lot to talk about it lot to unpack so let's dive into it straight away. So the opening of the teaser trailer, I think it is just very simple that Wade is celebrating his birthday with lots of returning characters. And I think the three major takeaway from this opening scene is where is Cable? And given how important Cable was in Deadpool 2 and due to the Cable's time traveling device, Deadpool was actually able to go back in time and to fix all of this and to get all of the characters that we are seeing back in time. So we are actually starting up from that post credit scene of Deadpool 2. Obviously this is a revised timeline. It might even implies that due to shenanigans of Deadpool, Cable actually didn't have to come in this timeline. So I'm kinda anticipating that. Hopefully there will be some sort of an explanation in the film because I think Cable was very important in Deadpool 2 and I think it will be awesome to see Josh Brolin in the MCU again. So another major thing is when Vanessa tells Wade to make a wish and the way that this trailer has been edited, they expect us to think that when Wade makes his wish, the TVA arrives at the same time and given, and given how Deadpool's mind works, he probably wished something to be part of the MCU. Because Deadpool already have expressed his feeling regarding making his debut in the MCU alongside Carl that already has been kind of an established so I think was that actually the wish so again this is just an implication because the way that the trailer has been edited out so that's we are seem to think but there can be a lots of stuff going on in the film as well that we are just not seeing obviously so moving on let's talk about TVA because I am really quite shocked that how much TVA that we actually got to see in the teaser trailer because I was anticipating TVA has to come because obviously given how Deadpool 2 ended but I initially thought they would just give us an easter egg or reference to TVA or maybe in silhouette but TVA feels like a much integral part as Deadpool and Wolverine are to this film. TVA is actually playing a quite major role and the first thing that comes to my mind when TVA arrives they are actually not there to prune Wade for his time traveling shenanigans in Deadpool 2 they are actually just there just to take him and to ask for his help because he is not gone through the whole process when a variant is captured as we have seen in the Loki season 1 the process that Loki has to go through and when we actually get to see him in front of the TV agent that is played by Matthew McFadden and his name is Paradox that has been officially confirmed and it was rumored for a quite while as we get to see in close caption he is indeed paradox and again when wade is actually talking to paradox he is actually seen wearing his normal clothes so tva motive is not to prune so when tva approaches wade they are approaching him to ask for his help and i think the ability of deadpool to break fourth walls and that actually makes deadpool and some sort of an in nexus being in this whole just not the marvel cinematic universe but also in the fox universe and all of this because he is quite aware just not the marvel universe but all of the other stuff that is going around and even all of the real life stuff that is actually going on so the due to the ability of that tv is actually approaching wade and again i think that's where it leads to that line where wade refers himself to as in marvel jesus so the premise that i'm getting from the teaser trailer that Deadpool is actually gonna pop up in some point of times throughout the MCU timeline and gonna fix some stuff that shouldn't have happened. Later when we actually see Wade in a kind of a snowy white to background with trees, I think it is in quite similar shot to Avengers Age of Ultron and we actually get to see one of those shots on the TVA monitors before that also. So I think Deadpool is gonna pop up in the some point of times the way we already have seen in the Avengers Endgame so sort of in something like that and he probably will be looking for a variant of Wolverine specifically until the end of the film where he actually finds the one that he needs 
the variant of Wolverine who is in his comic accurate suit which, that we just get to see for like two frames but hey that was worth it. So since we are talking about Wolverine let's talk about that white suited tuxedo Wolverine that is not going to be played by Hugh Jackman as that latest revelation has come from My Time to Shine Hello and Scoopster that we cover him frequently on the channel and give him a lot more reverence that here went on to state the white tuxedo Wolverine that we are seeing which is a variant of Wolverine that is known as Wolverine Patch in the comics it is not going to be played by Hugh Jackman so I am expecting we are actually going to see a lot of familiar faces and some new faces in Deadpool 3 specifically from that X-Men Fox universe from Patrick Stewart universe not from that rebooted prequel universe where James McAvoy, Michael Fassbender and Jennifer Lawrence were part of but specifically Fox X-Men universe so that also leads me to believe we are going to see a lots of new faces but also some old faces from that X-Men Fox universe because we also get to see Pyro from X2 so hey Thing a lot of us misinterpreted as the Doctor Doom in the trailer and and many of us like well like what the fuck did we just saw Doctor Doom and again it was it it was not I mean I gotta say that scene really got me and full a lot of us actually so another thing talking about that in in sort of in silhouette that we get to see and like in frame also in the trailer that is supposed to be the villain of the film. And I think I'm going to make a different video about it talking about villain of De Deadpool and Wolverine and which is supposed to be Cassandra Nova. So again we are going to talk about that in a separate video just to get an overview of the teaser trailer in this one. And another major thing that we get to see in the teaser trailer and that is Eliot from Loki season 1 and season 2. So it seems to be Eliot because we actually don't get to see him fully in just in glimpse of a liar and that uh, leads us to believe that Deadpool at some point of time is gonna end up in Void and all of the scenes that we get to see of Void in the teaser trailer are very different from the one that we have seen from Loki season 1 and season 2 it is a very different landscape and it is in probably in different part of a Void as well and also talking about the TVA in the teaser trailer is looking to be very different from the one we have actually seen in season 1 and season 2. A lot of us also thought that TVA that we are seeing in Deadpool and Wolverine is from the past TVA and it is not taking place after the events of Loki season 2 because of that one shot that we have of that TVA picture and of the loom because of that one shot of the new from multiverse and I really thought that was the picture of the old loom but if we look at it it is the new picture of the multiverse which is now shaped as in Agrisel tree if I'm pronouncing that right I'm so sorry if I mispronounce that the only thing there is that it is horizontal instead of it being vertical because that's how the multiverse is looking right now so the TVA that we are seeing is probably part of a different sector and we have seen that TVA is a quite huge organization there are lots of levels and lots of sectors so the TVA that we are seeing is very separated from the sectors and from the segments that we have seen in Loki season 1 and season 2. And another thing as we move forward in the teaser trailer at some point I think we all know that Deadpool is gonna turn up on TVA at some point of time and, and he's gonna go on to do his own thing and that I am believing that actually might lead us up to the secret wars because whatever he's gonna do it might not end up happening or it might end up happening but it actually makes the matter worse as we have seen in Loki season 1 Loki did not thought that's how it was supposed to went and the whole multiverse just kind of went into shambles so I think that's the kind of an angle that actually led us to Avengers secret wars because Deadpool and Wolverine is going to be a major part of this multiverse saga puzzle in very major piece to complete this puzzle and I also believe that throughout the film Deadpool actually might be looking for the specific variant of Wolverine that he ends up finding at the end of the film in his comic accurate suit with yellow and blue and I'm getting a sidetrack a little bit but I gotta say that suit is just look fantastic it is great so getting back on the track and I think that is one of the angle that Marvel Studios can move forward with 
and as we head at the end of the teaser trailer we get to see a pruned 20th century fox studio logo that has been pruned to the world and i think it is just a quite great reference and it is a quite hilarious reference because and given how disney have acquired 20th century fox and how the most of the logo is actually buried biggest reference that is not even a subtle that is isn't pretty much on your face reference as we had at the last shot of this trailer we get to see on a white background avengers secret was issue number five featuring doctor doom and beyonder on the cover and the major thing here is that the issue actually deals with the concept of building of the battleground so is it just supposed to be in reference that has just been just thrown out there for us to look for it or it can actually referencing to a lot more than anything maybe on a building of the battleground and i think mouse studios has been doing a great work laying off the foundation and i think a lot of foundation has been laid out for avengers secret wars with spider-man no way home with multiverse of madness with the marvels and now deadpool and wolverine coming in so a lot of things happening in the multi saga and hey we got ourselves in marvel jesus now so we gotta see how he's gonna work out this whole multiverse shenanigans and figure his way and given how much stuff is going on you can lost your way in this whole multiverse shenanigans and i think deadpool and wolverine and it is just going to be in something of a film and it is just not for any reason the most viewed teaser trailer for any film of all time dethroning spider-man no way home so i think we have talked a lot about the deadpool and wolverine but there is a still a lot to come we are going to cover deadpool and wolverine and what the fuck is actually happening in the teaser trailer there's a still a lot to talk about so for this video i'm going to sign off now well that's it for this video guys but before you go you can consider to grab the subscribe button so don't miss out on any of the latest marvel or dc update Thanks for listening to me. This is your host Adi signing off. See you in the next one.